The Santa Ana Wildlife Refuge has been the valley's hidden gem since 1943. It was established for the protection of migratory birds and the wildlife of the Rio Grande Valley. The National Wildlife Refuge System is a system of public lands and waters set aside to conserve America's fish, wildlife, and plants. Um, so Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge is one of over 500 National Wildlife Refuges in the United States. Uh, part of a system of public lands made available for people to enjoy and also for the protection of wildlife and plants and different types of habitats that are uh, important to preserve within the country. So, the refuge system was first established in 1903. Uh, Santa Ana was established in 1943. And this was in order for um, for the public to well, it was established really to preserve the natural heritage of the area. Um, at the same time, it was established for the benefit of migratory birds. There's a very wide diversity of birds that come through our region as they're uh, migrating. And in that whole process, they really need to find spots along their migratory routes to rest and feed and refuel so they can keep on going on, on their journey. Um, and at the same time, there's a lot of wintering uh, birds that as they're going through the whole migration process, sometimes they just decide to stop somewhere. And so Santan is one of those places as well. That really was the main purpose of the refuge um, and the reason why it was established in 1943. And as a kind of like a secondary purpose, um, we also have environmental education, outreach program, the refuge is open to the public so they can come and enjoy, um, do a lot of different activities at the refuge. So even though the main intent of the purpose really was to protect the home for wildlife, um, it also created a space for people to come and enjoy and, and you know, have fun. There's, um, as a National Wildlife Refuge, we have to stay true to our roots. Uh, again, wildlife comes first um, in our uh, agency and so instead of allowing all sorts of activities that people can enjoy nowadays these are basically restricted to uh, six main purposes that are allowed throughout national wildlife refuges in the country um, at Santa Ana in particular there's opportunities for people to just come uh, observe wildlife do nature photography um, interpretation which is participate in guided tours and things like that to learn a little bit more about the refuge um, and environmental education as well so there's four main activities um, and of course people can always come to the refuge and walk and you know, stay active um, at the same time it might provide a safe space for people to reconnect with nature and kind of like nowadays leave the stresses of urban living behind and just have a nice spot to come and walk and connect with nature, enjoy the sounds of the birds, um, the smells of the trees and, and the plants, observe the, the butterflies, the many insects, um, see traces of wildlife that utilize the refuge as a home. Um, one of the most common questions that, that we get is, especially from kids, they're like, oh, so are you like a zoo? Well, not really. <laughs> We're not really a zoo. We really just manage the habitat and try to preserve the habitat as it was many, many, many years ago before um, humans in our community started changing the landscape. Um, and, and so we just manage the habitat, manage the plants so that animals do what they do naturally. You know, so this is their home. They don't, they don't need cages or anything like that because this is the area where they live. Um, 
And I guess another interesting fact about the refuge is that we've been here since 1943. And there's been, um, there's a trend that we've noticed throughout the years that um, the refuge is known worldwide to a multitude of people, even from outside of the state that come and enjoy that activity. But we've noticed that our local residents may have been living here for like 20, 30 years, and maybe they still haven't heard about Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge, what this means to them, what they can do out here and stuff like that. So as we notice these sort of trends, um, we actively now try to engage with the community, um, engage with partners in the community so that there is an outreach and an awareness component to the members of our community and they know about uh, really the jewel of the National Wildlife Refuge system that they have in their own backyard. The Santa Ana Wildlife Refuge is a nonprofit organization and the income comes from donations which help with the upkeep and educational programs at the refuge. To make a donation, you can visit their website, www.friendsofsouthtexasrefuges.org. And if you find yourself in South Texas, make sure to visit the Santa Ana Refuge and enjoy nature.